want a system that will better protect the health and safety of Canadians and that will enable a diverse, competitive and legal industry comprising both of large and small players across the country. With that, the government unveiled its proposed regulations for who can produce legal pot and how to do it. They include a new licensing system, strict rules for security at pot facilities and security clearances for personnel, quality control, including limits on potency, and strict rules for packaging so it won't be enticing to kids. And you get a say. Ottawa wants Canadians to weigh in on all of this by January 20th. But as Catherine Cullen reports, questions are already being raised about that packaging and why some people with criminal records will be allowed in the business. We produce over six tons of medical cannabis for patients from coast to coast to coast. It is a lot of pot. Medrelief is one of the biggest players in Canadian medical marijuana and it wants to sell recreational pot too. We have some authority when it comes to understanding what it's uh, successful uh, cannabis cultivation and science is all about. But with unlimited licenses coming up for grabs under the new system, big players will have competition from micro cannabis. Think micro breweries, but for pot. If people choose that they want to, to enter the market in a small fashion, they certainly can. But like the big guys, small players will still have plenty of regulatory hoops to jump through, including tracking every single seed sown or joint produced. The government is also considering letting some people with non-violent criminal records get involved in the industry. We're just asking the question, you know, should these people with a, um, a, you know, a small amount of personal possession, should they be excluded from the market or should we consider them? Certain brand elements um, uh, appear to very much be part of what the federal government has listened to us. There's also the question of packaging for recreational pot. Producers argue clearly branded products will make it easier to take on the black market. It's incredibly important to us because it helps again differentiate legitimate product from black market product. However, the government's own cannabis task force warned that branding could influence minors. It recommends that officials require plain packaging for cannabis products. But the government is only talking about restricting colors and characters on packages. Why didn't you move ahead on plain packaging despite the recommendation from the task force? Actually, we are looking at making sure that we have strict guidelines when it comes to packaging. Decisions still to come with the legalization deadline about seven months away. Catherine Cullen, CBC News, Ottawa. If you had any doubt that pot was going to become big business, consider this. Today, Statistics Canada says it's going to start measuring its impact on the Canadian economy. And to do that, it will begin trying to figure out how much cannabis is being produced and consumed in this country before it even becomes legal. It says it will start integrating the data into GDP estimates, growth domestic product estimates, beginning in November of 2019.